So in this video, we are going to learn how to send Discord channel messages for new message in Slack channel. Now suppose guys, you are a business owner and you are using two different platforms like Slack and Discord to communicate with different teams. Now you want that whenever a new message is shared on your Slack channel, you want to send the same message on your Discord channel as well. Now guys, the manual process of sending or copying the message from one platform and sending it to others can be very much repetitive and time consuming. So in this video, we are going to set up an automation using which whenever a new message will be shared on our Slack channel, automatically the exact same message will also be sent on our Discord channel automatically. Now guess how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on my Slack account. And then this is my Discord channel. Now we want that whenever on a channel in my Slack account, a message is sent. For example, we have this channel named as developers team. Now I want that whenever any of my team members shares a message on this Slack channel, automatically the same message should be shared on my Discord channel as well. The exact same message. Now to make this happen, we are going to use an automation and integration platform that is called Public Connect. So here we are on Public Connect dashboard guys and to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Slack to Discord. And then just click on create. Now here you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on. Where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is First, we want to basically get the details of a new message which are sent on our Slack channel inside Public Connect. For that, we have to connect our Slack account with Public Connect over here in this trigger window. And whenever a new message will be sent on our Slack channel, this automation workflow will be triggered, it will be initiated. And then after that, using Public Connect, we are going to send that same message on our Discord channel in the action step. So how it is done? Let's see. Now here in trigger window, in choose app, search for Slack. Just select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select new message as the trigger event. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Slack account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Slack button. And in this pop-up window, it is basically asking us token type. So here to make this connection, we have two different types of token. First one is a user-based token and second one is a bot-based token. So what is the difference between user-based token and bot-based token? Here in this help text, you can see a hyperlink. If you will click on this link, it will take you to a page on our forum. And at this page, you can see all the details regarding the user-based token and a bot-based token. So here you can see, you can refer to this page and then you can see the difference. Right now, I'm just selecting a user-based token. So I'm entering user over here and click on save. Now here you can see that because we have already logged into a Slack account in our browser, Pabli Connect has detected the same account. So just scroll down and click on this allow button over here. And when we will click on allow, you will see our Slack account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is to select the channel. Then you may be having multiple channels in your Slack account. So out of all of these channels, from which channel we want to capture the new messages. So here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the channels over here. So in this video, we are taking an example of developers team, this channel. So let's search for it. Developers team, just select your desired channel from which you want to get the message over here. After selecting the channel, when we will click on the save and send test request button, the details of the most recent message or the latest message which was sent on our Slack channel will be captured inside Public Connect. So before clicking on save and send test request, let's send a message on our Slack channel. For example, I want a message to be hello team. So this is just a simple message, a dummy message which I'm sending and click on send over here. So just now we have sent a new message on our Slack channel. 
We will get back to Pavli Connect and click on the Save and Send Test Request button. And when we click on it, you will see in response, we have received the details of the same message. Here you can see the username or the user ID of the person of the team member of the member who has shared the message. So this message was shared by this user named as demo user. And here you can see the user ID of the same user. So in the next step, using this user ID, we are also going to retrieve the name of this user who has sent the message. Then here you can see the timestamp that at what timestamp this message was sent. And here you can see the response of text. So in this response, you can see the exact same message which was shared on our Slack channel. This is the message and we have captured the same message over here. And after this, here you can see some other details. So the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully received the message from our Slack channel inside Pavli Connect. So every time a new message will be sent on Slack, the same message will be captured inside Pavli Connect as well. So here guys, you can see that we have received all the details from Slack. We have the message, we have the user ID over here. Now what we have to do, we have to basically using this user ID, extract the details of the team member of the user who has sent the message on Slack so that we can get their name. And with the same name, you can send the message on your Discord channel as well, if you want. So this is just an optional thing, guys. If you want to send the message on Discord with the same name, with the same username who has shared the message on Slack, you can do this. You can use this step. And to do this, just scroll down, come to our action window, and here in Choose App, search for Slack once again. Select Slack. And then after selecting Slack in action event from the drop down, you can select the action event as search user or get user by ID. This is the get user by ID action step. Select it, click on connect. Now, because we have connected our Slack account in the previous step, so you don't have to actually make a new connection. You can select the existing connection and click on save. Now, when we click on save, here you can see that the only thing it asks us is the user ID. That what is the user ID whose details, whose name we want to retrieve. So we have received the user ID of the user who has sent the message on our Slack channel in our trigger response. So from this response, we are going to map the same user ID over here in this field. Just click here and from the drop down from Slack channel messages responses, select the response of user ID and map it. And after mapping this, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received the details of the user. And here you can see the user's real name. So demo user, this was the name of the person who has sent the message on our Slack channel. And here you can see the same name over here. So we have successfully received the name of the user who has sent the message. Now, finally, let's send this message to our Discord channel. And to do this, just click on this add action step button over here. And then here in choose app, search for Discord. Just select Discord over here. After selecting Discord, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as send channel message HTML. Click on connect. Now here guys, after clicking on connect, the first thing it asks us is the webhook URL. Now we have to basically connect our Discord channel with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, first we have to create a webhook URL in our Discord server. And then we have to basically paste that same webhook URL over in this field. So how you can create this webhook URL in Pixie over here? Let's see. So to create a webhook URL in Discord, just go to your Discord server and this is my channel technical updates. Now after reaching to your Discord server on the top corner here, you can see this down arrow, just click on it and go to server settings. After coming to the server settings page, go to integrations. And then here you can see an option named as webhook. Click on view webhook button and click on new webhook over here. After clicking on new webhook, here you can see that a new webhook URL is just now created. Let's change the name of this webhook URL, for example, Slack to Discord. This is the name of the webhook URL. After giving it a name, here it is asking us for the channel that using this webhook URL on which of our Discord channel we want to send the message. And in the drop down, you can see a list of all the channels which we have created in Discord. So we want to send the messages on technical updates, this particular Discord channel. So select that channel over here. Then just click on this copy webhook URL button and click on save changes. Okay, so the username cannot contain Slack to, okay, so let's name it as Pavli. So we have just changed the name of the bot or the webhook URL. Click on save changes and this is it. Just now guys, we have added or created this webhook URL in our Discord account. And after doing this, just copy this webhook URL from here. 
go to Public Connect and paste it over here. So just now what we did, we have created a WebOQ URL in Discord for this particular channel on our Discord server. And then we have added the WebOQ URL, the same WebOQ URL over here. After creating the WebOQ URL, the next thing it asks us is the message. That what is the message which we want to send? So we have received the message from Slack responses in Trigger. Here you can see the response of the same message which we have shared on our Slack channel. So we have to basically map this response of text or the message over here in this message field. Just click here and from the drop down from Slack new message responses, select the response of text, the message and map it over here. Now with this message guys, you can basically add some new text or some other text as well. For example, if I want to add a text as new message on Slack. If I want to add this kind of text before each and every message we receive on Slack and sharing on Discord, you can add it. You can manually type the message as well. And if you want, you can map other details regarding the same message over here as well. So here guys, in this way, you have to just map the message over here. Then it is asking us for the bot name. Now using a bot, we are going to share the messages on our Discord channel. So what will be the name of the bot? We have an option to change the name of the bot over here. For example, guys, basically what you can do, you can actually enter a constant name. You can just manually enter a constant name, any name of your choice. And with the same bot name, all the messages will be shared. But guys, in the second step, what we have done, we have actually retrieved the details of the user who has sent the message on Slack. So from Slack step, step of get user details, what we have done, we have retrieved the details of the user. So here you can see the real name of the user who has sent the message on our Slack channel. And by the same name, we want to send the message on our Discord channel as well. So from this responses of get user by ID, what we are going to do, we are going to map the bot name. Just click here. And from the drop down, just map the real name of the user. So here guys, the person, the team members who is going to share the message on Slack with the same name, the same name of the user, with the same name of the user, we are going to share the same message on Discord as well. After mentioning the bot name or basically adding the username, the next thing it asks us is the bot icon. Now, if you want, you also have an option to change the icon, the display picture of the bot. You just have to enter the URL, the link of the image over here. Right now, I don't want to change it. So I'm just ignoring this field for now. And at last, it asks us text to speech. So I want to disable the text to speech option. So that's why by default, I have selected disable over here. And then just click on save and send test request. Now here guys, after clicking on save and send test request, you can see we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message which we have mapped over here is been sent on the same channel for which we have created this webhook URL. And the bot name is this. So let's check our Discord channel. We'll go to Discord. And yes, guys, here you can see that the exact same message which we have shared on our Slack channel is been shared on our Discord channel as well. And this message is shared by a bot and the bot name is the exact same name of the user who has shared the message on our Slack channel over here. Now this means guys, the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new message will be shared on our Slack channel, automatically the same message will be shared on our Discord channel as well with the same name. Now here guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once in real time. We are going to share a new message on our Slack channel. For example, we are just testing this automation. Okay, so this is just a simple message which we are going to use to test the automation. Let's send it. And as we send this message on our Slack channel, guys, we will see within 10 minutes, the exact same message will be shared on our Discord channel as well. And it basically takes 10 minutes of time to share the message because the connection between Slack and Public Connect is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, every 10 minutes, Public Connect will go to a Slack account and check for new updates or new messages. And every 10 minutes, it will get the details of all the new messages which we have received in past 10 minutes. And it will get those details inside Public Connect. And this automation workflow will be executed. So here guys, let's wait for 10 minutes over here. Okay, so we have successfully waited for 10 minutes over here. So let's go to Discord. And yes, guys, here you can see that we are just testing this automation. 
The exact same message which we have shared on our Slack channel is being shared on our Discord channel as well. Now this means guys the automation workflow which we have created is working absolutely fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Powerfully Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can actually clone this exact same workflow into your own Powerfully Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also let me tell you, Powerfully Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Powerfully Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.